Josie, you couldn't wait for me after school? For 30 minutes? I don't have a full day of hanging around to do. Papa's missing. What else is new? I had to come back from Texas to find a job, to earn money, to help bring food to the table. Shh, isn't she angry enough? No, so am I. She's suddenly concerned about the political climate in Mexico City. What became of your obsession with movie stars, eh? How many pools of Clara Bow and Greta Garbo stuffed in your school bag today? Cut Just see be polite. Talking to you here makes me feel alive. <laughs> you see, you know just the right thing to say to a lady, Tarzan. <laughs> I am a very complexion person. <laughs> Look at me. Are you seriously playing a married woman? Yes. Are you out of your mind? Yes, I, for her, yes. God help you. You tell me what I'm in for. She's confided in me and to the press multiple times. She is not the marrying kind. That's what my first wife said. And you know what? The funniest thing is, she's been going around buzzing everywhere that it's all going to be illegal. Oh, has she? But you're going out just the same? Well, if you're worried that I will make a scene, I promise to behave. <laughs> well, I know, baby. You want us to spend the night in bed, unable to sleep, my insides burning while you doze off in peace? Hmm? Why don't you just take a second home? You know what? Take two. I don't trust the sleeping pills. Their faces are... Ay, stupido. What is it? Are you blind? Shh, you're bothering me now. What is this fucking movie called, anyway? Flying down to Rio. Next time when you get up to pee, why don't you check the credits? Or even look at the marquee before we filed in. Who would believe that? Look, we're not at home. Hey, please, chorus girls dancing on top of an airplane. How is that even possible? It's only a movie. Why, they should be falling down, not tap dancing on a wing. The press had a field day with those two, a non-stop pinball machine. And yet I'm supposed to believe they were still in love. If it wasn't love, Frank, then what else could it have been? What made matters worse was them trying to make a go of it. They would separate and fly back into each other's arms. I don't care what you say. I am a good actress. Oh, can be. Am, carajo. Can be if you stop with those silly spitfire tantrums of yours. It's it, all one note with you. It was all written in the script like that. Oh, ever hear the word finesse? Is that a curse word? <laughs> it's something you lack. I don't lack for nada. I am who I am. Exactly. Every picture you ever made, you play yourself. I up all my friends for his friends because he was jealous of them. Okay, yes, yeah, so I whack him on the head, but he whacked me first. <laughs> I guess it was hard for him to forget that he was Tarzan. Perfectly willing to be typecast again. The girl from Mexico. She was earning close to $1,500 a week. The girl from Mexico was a smash hit, as they say in the trades. So that audiences at the Rialto even got the, the, decent reviews. So, who's depressed now? And from that came the spin-offs, that much I know. Oh yes, the glorious spin-offs. Yeah, can you name them? <laughs> Mexican Spitfire Goes West, Mexican Spitfire's Baby, Mexican Spitfire at Sea, Mexican Spitfire Sees a Ghost, Mexican Spitfire's Elephant, and Mexican Spitfire's Blessed Event. <sighs> you are the only one that I can turn to. What's going on? Josie, I need your help. You cannot say no. What am I saying yes to? Okay, you were always good at pretending. Uh, I, I need for you to pretend that, that, that this child that I'm carrying is yours. Dios mio, how long have you been? It's two months. How could you keep that from me? I, I, I meant to tell you, I, I just, it, it's just, well, it, it was hard for me to, Josie, please, please don't ask me to explain because I, I'm so afraid. I don't understand. It, it's Harold. I should hope so. You're the only one I can trust. Lupe. Why are you asking me to do such a thing? Because I am not married, and you are married. How could it hurt you to make people believe that this baby is you? But why? Because I know in my heart that Harold has no intention of marrying me. I see it in his eyes, the way he avoids looking into mine. He had the cojones to propose a fake marriage for the sake of the child. Where is the logic in that? I'm chacha. Huh? No. Look, we can, we can go away together to a small town in Mexico. I can have the baby there, and when it's born, you can say it's yours, and then later I can offer to, to adopt it. That's so crazy. Why would I give up my child? Josie, por favor, couldn't you come up with a good reason? Like what? Oh, what an ugly baby. I think I'll give it away to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> we can say that you adopted the baby. No, 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 escucha esto. You, 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 you found the baby in an alleyway. Yes, that it was abandoned, that I 
is step in and offer to who will take it from you. Leave that book. Yes, but it makes sense. You know that it makes sense. Is this why you agreed to use your precious home to host my husband's birthday party? So you could sneak us in here and ask me to lie to people? I am asking for your help. You want my help. Lupe, I begged you to help me find work in the studio. And how all you found for me were big parts, nothing parts. I tried, Josie. You! <laughs> With your influence made no real effort to get me an agent who could help cast me in a speaking role. What are you talking about? You just didn't want me to share the screen with you. I had no control over you that. You could have said something. I like threaten to quit if they don't offer you a starring role. Offer me something better than a fucking hat check, girl with no lies. I tried. It's hard enough to sue me, Lupe. Well, how she begged. I should write to her soon, very soon. Josie, you come right back and we'll have another talk and then we'll go away. And I said to her, I said, yes, of course, Lupe, as soon as I'm able. Lupe, forgive me. What, what happened, Josie? I never came back. I never came back to her. I left her waiting. I never. to tell her. I was never a good liar. I could have phoned Lupe. I, I couldn't even do that. The next time I saw Lupe, she was at rest. She looked so peaceful. She covers her face with her hands, rises and exits.